I don't know, it puts me in a situation that I didn't think I'd ever have to be in with my fiance. Honestly. Tables turned. I wouldn't even made it past without her last night. And that's 1,000% on my kids' life. We all have different reasons for watching automotive shows. Some of us enjoy the loud, flashy vehicles. Others get more into the personal lives of the racers. Heck, why not both? But if someone told you they watched Street Outlaws for romance, they'd probably look at you like you were from another planet. Despite this, the romance between racers Kai Kelly and Lizzie Musi has lit a fire in some fans' hearts. But are the two racers still together after an on-screen schism? This is Tuna No Crust, and we're here to give you the details on these partners in crime. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do so so you don't miss our next upload. Also, it will help us get to 100,000 subscribers. If you know nothing about Street Outlaws, here's a quick primer. Street Outlaws began airing on Discovery Channel in 2013. The show is about street racers, that is, people who race cars on stretches of a public road almost always illegally. If you want to know more about how they get paid, check out our video on that topic. It currently has 15 seasons, the last of which is airing right now. Just remember that you need a Discovery subscription to watch it. As a side note, most of the events we will cover center around the spin-off Street Outlaws No Prep Kings. The main difference between that show and the regular Street Outlaws is that the track isn't prepared at all beforehand. This means nothing is cleared from the road, nobody applies compounds to help the cars grip the pavement, and so on. It's rougher than the average street race, which is already dangerous. Now that we all know a little about the show, what about our lovely couple? Let's start with Kai Kelly. Kelly was born in Magnolia, Mississippi on May 19, 1985. He's had racing in his life since a young age. He competed in dirt bike derbies before taking up automotive racing. At only 15 years old, he began competing in New Orleans' street racing scene. Although he got a partial scholarship and a job at an oil refinery company, Kai had a passion for cars. Once he had the resources, he started his own engineering company, Down South Performance, which he runs with his business partner, Greg Champagne. When he's not on the roads, he's busy making new rides in his garage. And if he's that focused on cars, you know anyone who wants to marry him must be a gearhead too. Maybe that's why his relationship with Alyssa Moat was less than stellar. Moat was a nurse in the North Oaks Health System in Hammond, Louisiana. They had a daughter, Kennedy Alexa, on March 25, 2016, but the relationship didn't last past 2017. Kelly also had a previous relationship with a woman named Sarah, no last name available. Not much is known about Sarah as a person. What is known, however, is that she gave birth to Kai's first daughter, Haley, on August 9, 2010. Kelly's infidelity is cited as the main reason for breaking up with Moat. Although everyone is quiet on the topic, the timelines do match up. Take that as you will. But the woman he is with right now might be his perfect match. Elizabeth Lizzie Musi also has a long history with racing. She was born on January 1, 1991 in Carteret, New Jersey. She's the daughter of former racer Pat Musi, who eventually opened Pat Musi Racing Engines. Pat encouraged his daughter to enter the male-dominated sport. That encouragement paid off. Lizzie made her debut driving King Kong 5, a 2009 Dodge Stratus. In 2014, she won both Rookie of the Year and became the first female professional drag racers association champion ever. She was also the first woman to win in Pro Nitrous, setting a speed record for the class at 209.23 miles per hour. She also set another record in October 2019, 208.62 miles per hour, this time in a Dodge Dart. Shortly after her win in 2014, she got Big Chief's attention in the New Jersey racing circuit. The rest, as they say, is history. She has appeared in Street Outlaws No Prep Kings 2018, as well as another Street Outlaws spinoff, Street Outlaws Gone Girl 2021. Lizzie also appeared in a movie called Adrenaline. Fittingly, the movie is about a drag racer who is rendered paraplegic in an accident. Lizzie and Pat Musi both have cameos as themselves. Although Lizzie doesn't have any major roles, the movie nonetheless appears on her resume. When she's not racing, she's usually working in her dad's shop. As with Lizzie, her passion for motorsports doesn't take any days off. 
Her sister Trisha also races, so it's in their blood. For those of you still looking for that special someone, one of the best ways to meet your match is to have a few interests in common. After looking through both of their backgrounds, it's pretty easy to see that's there. While it's easy to think that Kelly and Lizzie met on the set, that's not what happened. Kelly and Lizzie met when Kelly went to the workshop owned by Lizzie and her dad in 2017. He wanted to get some modifications for The Shocker, a customized 92 Camaro. The two began dating shortly after. Again, Kelly was still married to Moat at the time, so reports of Kelly and Lizzie having an affair on national television might be why they broke up. It's also worth noting that Kelly sometimes didn't get along with Pat Musi, despite him introducing the two as per Dragzine. This will come up again, so keep it in mind. Kelly and Lizzie were not subtle about being an item. Lizzie and Kelly both posted images on their social media accounts. They eventually made an on-screen debut as a couple on Street Outlaws. Fans began following their romance as much as they did the cursing and arguments between competitors. They hug, kiss, and do anything else a healthy, happy couple would do, especially since the cameras are running. By pure coincidence, Kelly popped the question to her after she crashed in the shocker, a happy ending to something that could have ended in tragedy. I'm trying to see a little piece of my life history, so... Uh... Here it goes. Hey, man. Yes. They became engaged in July 2021 and had plans for a wedding on November 19th, 2022. And yet, many Street Outlaws fans are wondering, are Kai, Kelly, and Lizzie still together? Let's look at what happened to their relationship. The rumors of the breakup mostly come from one episode of Street Outlaws. These two lovebirds had been pitted against each other in the past. To save you some time, the episode in question is Season 5, Episode 14, Vow to Destroy. In this, Kelly and Lizzie were pitted against each other in a race for the championship title. Lizzie won. Since the two had several races against each other in previous seasons, this should not have been a big deal even with a title on the line. The loss cost Kelly his shot at the championship. He and Lizzie did not want to talk to each other immediately after the race. Lizzie even commented that their relationship was done after this one. This was a do or die moment. Like it literally, he, the, our relationship is like gone over this deal. Given that they had happy thoughts about each other before and after, this doesn't seem to be the case. They had also raced against each other in the past, so what was going on so soon after their delayed wedding date? The race itself was nothing compared to what happened behind the scenes. Before the race started, Lizzie's dad whispered a few choice words in Kai's ear. Among them were statements that Lizzie would not be driving at full force and not blow out his engine. For this reason, Kelly may not have been driving at his best. It's unclear whether Lizzie had any say in this matter. Organizers had warned Lizzie before the race that any subpar performance would tarnish the sport. She also got advice from her father to keep doing what she was doing in a previous race. Kelly made it clear that he didn't want anything free in life, so if his wife cheated, it would make both of them look bad. I don't want my fiance thinking that she should let me win, because if she lets me win, that just sucks. I mean, you know, it's. I ain't never had anything free in life, and I don't want anything free in life. If I get it, I get it. If I don't, it's because I didn't deserve it. Despite the drama, Kelly and Lizzie would probably get married. Just wait for them to film a drag race in honor of the occasion. Hopefully, they'll both be driving down the aisle with all pistons blazing, but who knows what the future will hold? What we do know is that they had to delay their wedding. It has been rescheduled for November of this year. They nonetheless shared photos of their previously scheduled honeymoon in Antigua on Instagram. It looks like the flame of love isn't out. Far from it. If you want to keep up with their latest, be sure to follow Kelly and Lizzie on all relevant social media. Instagram seems to be their favorite. And if you want to support them in another way, buy some merchandise through their official website. Friends and family are also allowed to contribute to their second honeymoon via an online registry. Maybe they'll be able to afford a second honeymoon after tying the knot for real. What about you? 
Do you think Lizzie and Kai Kelly will have a match made in heaven, or will this love affair not last? Do you believe in the one, or are some people happier with multiple partners? And if you're already in a relationship, how did you meet your partner? Do you have something special that you enjoy doing together? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so that you don't miss the next big thing. We'll see you next time.